Hello Internet, and welcome back to Antiheroes Anonymous, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us. I'm Ethan, and I'm the Dungeon Master for this fifth edition. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks you out with my little stumble. Well, we Dungeons and to, Dragons show. To roll through it for you. Let's uh, start yeah, that yeah. over. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. We'll roll in. Um, before we do some announcements, um, Nick, would you go ahead and kick off a round of player introductions? Sure. Hi, I'm Nick. I play Embers of White Ash, the Tabaxi Sunsoul Monk. Hi, I'm Kay, and I play Lady Elwyn Amalos, who is a an elvish circle of the land druid. That's right. <laughs> Hello, I'm Melissa, and I play Tepid Wyatzaker, who is a pixie bard who's a little larger, perhaps? Mm. Larger Large than life. life. Yeah. Medium pixie bard. Hi, I'm Zach, and I play Vert, who is a changeling armor artificer. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so we premiere our episodes on YouTube every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, though I believe we're going to be skipping next week due to holidays. Um, throughout the show, we use a variety of custom items as well as a custom pixie lineage and custom monsters and all of that. So uh, be aware of that as you're watching. Our character portraits, which are all over the layout at this point, uh, come from a variety of artists. So be sure to check the description for information about what or who drew what. Uh, and if you like some of the art, go support those artists, because they're all great. Um, if you need a refresher on anything going on in the campaign, we have a campaign wiki at World Anvil, which is a good place to get caught up quick. Uh, other than that, you can check the video description for links and information, as well as some info uh, about everything I just mentioned and more, including some links to Black Lives Matter and Stop Asian Hate resources. Uh, and then you can follow us on co-host at Antiheroes Anon to find out more about what we are doing and when. Uh, and that's it. So we just hope you enjoy the show, share it with your friends, and come back to watch some more. So before any of us can stumble some some more, points itself, <laughs> uh, roll the intro video. Let's go. Welcome back. The Silver Seekers have entered the Feywild to find a fairy dragon named Nim. Once the pet of Lord Mistralath, the prior owner of the Silver Seekers keep, Nim retreated to the keep's counterpart in her home plane after his death. Tuppence, however, is hoping to recruit Nim to sing the Concerto of Cleaving as part of the fairy orchestra. But the mission to find the dragon is already running into some snags. The party has been caught in an isolating fog, uh, gotten lost in a forbidding forest, and uh, also done some battle with some nightmarish, nightmarish creatures. Outside the Fey Keep is where they did the battle. Gosh, I can't <laughs> read today. <laughs> uh, and if they're delayed too long, they run the risk of time in the outside world moving on without them. And so that is where we're going to pick up tonight's session. I'm going to close that so I no longer have to read anymore. And I will instead read my notes. I was going to say, we're going to take our with today. Um, Total improv. Yep. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> to so remind to all of you of where we left off, you had stepped into a uh, purplish fog or mist that had surrounded this keep entirely. And after it engulfed you, and then after a brief moment of a little bit of loss of consciousness, it pulled away, and you found yourselves standing on a bridge or walkway leading up to the front door of a very familiar keep. Um, the difference here is that on all sides, this keep, and you included, are surrounded by this strange fog or mist with the light bluish lights that kind of flicker within it every now and again. Uh, I will 
will turn things over to you. And uh, in fact, I will bring you over to the map right away. Would you say the mist is supernatural? <laughs> I would say it is supernatural. <laughs> I mean, considering no, no one that. <laughs> it's not organic. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's... When you get to this map, you're going to have to scroll down to oh, the yeah. very bottom. That's where the group of you Graphics are. Graphics performance notification. Cool. Thank you. My map is too high quality. <laughs> um, yes, so you find yourselves standing in front of these uh, big doors uh, that lead into the keep. And interestingly enough, the keep looks very familiar, but there are some differences. For example, I believe these doors um, on your actual keep are wooden, but these ones that you stand in front of are big iron doors, these imposing doors. Um, and as you look from here, you can see that there is some writing scrawled around the frame of the door as well that doesn't exist uh, on your keep back home. Um, what does it say? Uh, well, if you want to walk up and take a look, I can read it to you. Do you speak Sylvan? I do not. I do. Okay. Uh, the writing is in Sylvan, so Tuppence in your now regular sized form. <laughs> uh, you walk up to the kind of frame around the door, this, this stone that encompasses the door. Um, there's a little bit of writing kind of over the very top of the door, and then all along the frame, there's some more writing. Over the top of the door, it says, I name this place Dream Sorrow Hold. It is my domain of sorrow and my place of isolation. Here slumbers Nymnilium, friend and truest companion of Aelir Mistralath. May his soul find peace among the stars. And then, along the frame, there are three sentences. The first sentence, starting on the left side and working its way up the frame, says, No player's song shall warm my heart, for nothing can burn away my loneliness. That's followed by another frame that kind of arches over the top of the door, or another sentence that kind of arches over the top of the door. I will know joyful flight no longer, for I am lost without light to guide me home. And then completing the arch, there's a third sentence that says, no singing voice shall echo in these halls again, for I can do naught but sob, and no tears can quench my anger. And I can repeat those if necessary. The name of the place I'd like one more time, please. Dream Sorrow Hold. Dream Sorrow Hold. Man, this place is a really real downer. <laughs> yes. <Jeez. clears throat> well, at least it looks like no more at place. But he hasn't met us yet, so she. She. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's why we're here to bring her companionship and light and, uh, I don't know what to do about that last one. Tears. <laughs> to help her, help her out of her, out of her grief. It's really soulful grief. She needs a joyful soul. And you figure out how to do that. Okay, shall we go? Are we ready? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's try the door. Okay. Uh, you open the door. Uh, you can see into the foyer. Um, immediately, where in your keep you have these nice, grand wooden stairs that kind of curve up to the second floor, you can see there are these dark black marble stairs that very much reflect the mood of this place. Um, yeah, you can you can feel free to move yourselves in and start looking around if you want. Just tell me where you where you're going and what you want to do. Ooh, you made this one fancy. It's very fancy. Yeah. Um, and you can see uh, to your right and left, just as you would expect from your keep, there seem to be doors. Um, they're closed as opposed to how they look on the map, but. Yeah. I challenged myself to do dynamic lighting for this, and I think it worked. It's the hardest setup. Uh, no, it's actually really easy. Oh, uh, hello? As the four of you step inside, 
the door <laughs> slams shut behind you. <laughs> and your view of the outside is cut off. Great. No turning back. No. Shalom. Hello. <laughs> well, I can send it. I can. <laughs> Let's go on. Knock on the dresser. Mm-hmm. Uh, dollar bills come flying. Who got their vacuums? <laughs> Uh, no, where do you want to go? You kind um, of have um, a couple paths before you. You know, um, to the left and right, you know those hallways kind of go around to a set of stairs that lead upward. Um, I would um, take a minute to look around, but I, I do have this scroll that I can use to get blow paper if, oh. if we end up not being able to find her. Anymore. Well, in the hole that Amber had, there's that special area. Let's go try there. Right. It's a good thought. The place that was meant to be her. Yeah. Her home. That was upstairs? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go. Okay. Um, the group of you... Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. You just select us all. Yeah. We should be able to move everyone. Yeah, yeah. It'll be easier yeah. to work yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank um, you. We just move you all to the right. Or... Um, this one you're gonna want to be in the middle. Um... It loads in. I will explain what you're seeing. You see the similar hallways branching left and right. Uh, however, the floor Branch. has been replaced with like a dark marble. And as you come up to the top of the stairs and kind of turn around to catch your bearings, looking across kind of the gap created by the stairway itself, um, it's kind of standing in front of where Nim's room is in your keep, this one here. Um, you see a strange creature. Is it that? is humanoid to some extent, but its limbs all end in these horrible pointy spear-like protrusions. Um, and it has it has this dark grayish skin and its face looks like the face of a dragon, but it almost has like this kind of like uh tragically sad uh look on its face and it i will show you a yes that's okay we walk down the stairs of we like. <laughs> <laughs> this one in the picture does not have the, dra- the draconic face but imagine it does oh god uh, yep no we definitely sure. that, that kind of almost is right <laughs> right that's what i'm saying <laughs> um and as the group of you catch sight of it you feel a wave of emotion wash over you. Emotion that you recognize as coming from external, but you're feeling it as if it's internal. You're back in that fog, separated from each other. Isolation and loneliness pierces your soul. And this thing walks over to the edge and looks at you across, and it reaches one of its pointed arms towards you. We actually in fog, or is that just the feeling that we have? Feeling that we had. Yeah. yeah, just the feeling. Okay. Can I insight check it? Sure. Maybe it just wants a friend. Yep. <laughs> Maybe it just wants a friend. Eighteen. Eighteen. I'm basically well. I don't know what you're going to say, but I'm basically trying to sense whether it means us harm. It's going to try and attack us or what its intentions are by reaching toward us. 18 is pretty good. It's reaching this arm to you as if it is craving closeness. But as it does so, you can see that a, like a section of that pointed arm begins to like detach and hang and it like reaches back as if it's going to hurl it at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everyone look out. Basically. I mean, you've got a you've got a short moment. Do you want to like scatter? I'll give you basically like a surprise round if you want to like move somewhere or something. Well, basically, just out heads up. So it's gonna throw an arm at us. It looks like it's about to. It's gonna throw a blade. It's gonna detach a blade yeah. from its. If you got around the corner or something like that, it probably wouldn't be able to reach you. 
or you could stay and it, it might, I don't know, based on what Owen thinks. Yeah. It looks like he's going to throw that knife at us. Um, Amber's just is going to see what everyone else is going to do because she doesn't want to go charging off on herself feeling like this. Oh, I see. Then let's everyone take cover. Maybe Vert will stand in front and kind of raise his shield then. Okay. See if he can't block the others. Block the others. I think I think Ember's is actually going to grab. Oh, we're not. I can't. You're not tiny anymore. Nope, Tuppence is not tiny. <laughs> <laughs> just have to, like grab on the embers of fur. Is there any anything else to duck behind other than the walls, like any furniture or anything in these hallways? Not in these hallways, no. Okay. Then I will get behind Bert and his big shield. Yep. Okay. So. Um take cover. Yeah, I think I can. Not, not hallway. Uh I am gonna I guess I'm gonna try and grapple Tuppence. Is Soul out? No, I was going to tell people. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what to do. You think yeah. you should get rid of Soul? Oh, right, right, right. I put Soul on each of these maps because... Yeah, I'm going to resist. Sorry. Are you trying to grapple okay. me? So I can, so I can pull you, drag you away from here. Ordinarily, I'd just take you in my hand and do it. Okay, I was just going to well, try to do it. You go around the corner and start playing and brawling performance to try to charm it. Or which one so if she's is. if she's already going, then yeah, she's yeah. really not resisting. You. Okay, yeah. You so. can, yeah, mm -hmm. you can. I mean, within like the, the story, you can yeah. pull her back, but she's already kind of going that way. Yeah, yeah you grab her arm, but you're both in the same direction. Yeah, and we're gonna go back back here. Okay. Um, Tuppence, what do you pull out to play? Is it your loot or? Um, my, I play my mom. Uh, you raise the pan flute to your lips and try to blow into it. No sound comes out. Um, well, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't play. This thing, its arm basically extends and launches off, and it goes flying towards Vert, uh, and clatters against your armor. Did you say you have a shield? Yeah. Yeah, it clatters against your shield, and it just kind of like slowly reels it back in, and then it looks at you, and walks through the wall into Nim's room, and is gone. Can oh. you bump the person? Oh no! Okay. The yeah, dynamic she's... lighting's broken. No, it's not. Uh, He's clipping into the wall. Yeah. Okay. But no, you can see into Nim's room. Yeah, I'm you shouldn't be able to. You. That's I'm okay. Also trouble you might need to move her because I think that we lost permission to move her. I okay. think you clipped into the wall, and yeah. then that's why you could. Yeah. You're yeah. good now. We're not meant to. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. Which explains why you could see into it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't see anything. So it threw this uh, limb at me and then walked into Newton's room? Mm-hmm. Like pan through the wall. doesn't work? Oh, it, went, it phased through the wall. What happened? Is there just no sound coming out? What about your other instrument? It's broken. What about you? I might try. You like your loot and your... Let's try. You pull out your loot, you pluck at the strings, and it's just like a It's not musical at all. It sounds like badly tuned. This is gonna be a problem for you. It did say that no player's song shall warm her heart. No song either. I'm in trouble. No singing voice, no instrumental songs. No magic. I mean, my mom's pan flute is full of magic. If anything was going to work in here, I was counting on that. Let's just see if we can talk to her. I'll go up to the door. To her room. Yeah, is, it, is there... There's a gap here. We'd have to, like, go around. Hey, Ethan. Oh, is there a gap? I, yeah. <laughs> my screen is so dark. Can I yeah. roll some type of check to try and there? recognize any part of that figure that we saw? Yeah. Okay. So, like, I think you'd have to go to the left or right and go Or around. I can spider climb and go across the wall. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's also true. Which I think yes. I'll just do. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> I can do that at will, so. So, like, maybe, I don't know. You there so were, like, you want to of Mr. Lath and stuff, right? You want to try and like recognize it? Yeah. Not together, but one Like, I'm trying to think, should I know what the, what this thing is? Did we read about anything, any of the features that it has? I don't think there's any way that you would know 
what this creature is. Okay. Um, so you don't need to make a check for that. But its appearance definitely looked in some ways like, you know, pictures you saw. Like, it, mostly its head, not the rest of it, obviously. But um, mm -hmm. its head kind of looked like a dragon. Could have been a representation of Nim. Definitely not Nim herself, but... Yeah. So just the head, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put my hand on Tepitz's shoulder. Cast Spider Climb on you. Tepitz can fly. Can she fly in this? He hasn't tried. Okay. Okay, let's try. Let's try to fly. You bat your wings and there's no lift. I figured, because she's big now. Oh, uh, yeah. But wouldn't my wings get bigger and compensate? I guess not. You feel like you should be able to fly. Despite the size change, it but... does. It does say, "I will no, jo no, I will no joy for flight no longer." Yeah. So this whole dungeon was made to nerf toughness, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan has a shitty eating grin over there. <laughs> so I cast spider climb on you. That's what I get for making one that can fly. <laughs> I have a little bit different abilities now, but I, I should be able to help you climb the wall to get across this big gap here. I can only do it one person at a time. So once you're over there, I'll. Shepherd the rest of them through. I can climb far on my own. Alright, I don't need to do Ambers. Great, thanks. Go is, ahead. Is my flight also nullified? Yes. Okay. Right. Sorry, I know you just got that. No, no, that's, that's totally okay. Your Iron Man boots? No. Well, <laughs> oh, wait, that was Hunter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is from the Wind Nexus. Mm -hmm. Not going to tune this item anymore. <laughs> it's useless. Okay, so it, do you go across. Yeah, to the door. I'm going to yeah. move you down there. Um, then, yeah, I'll basically just cast Spider Clam on you, Spider Clam on Vert. Ember's mm -hmm. can get across yeah. on her own. Yeah, Ember's follows right behind Tuppence. I'll do on myself as well. Um, once everyone's across. I'm across the wall. Here we are. When the group of you stand in front of this door, um, you can see that it is actually like chained with these big heavy chains and this really large iron lock right in the center of all these chains that just have this door locked down Nim, honey can you hear us hello we're from the other keep on the other side the keep the entire keep shakes for a second. As if an earthquake. Nim, you don't know us, but we know you, and we're here to help you, honey. Can you come out and talk to us, please? It's no response. We've been wanting to meet you for a long time. <laughs> the accent catching again. <laughs> um, Ember's examined the <laughs> So it's it's a large lock, but you kind of peer in through the keyhole. Mm -hmm. um, what are you trying to find out? If this could be picked. Oh, um, yeah, no check necessary. You think it could be picked, um, but peering into the mechanisms, it looks like it might be difficult. Like, okay. It's it's a big lock, but like looking inside, it's pretty complicated. Is there space enough under the door to fit a spider through? Um. Yeah, probably. I could send a familiar in there and get a scope. Scope it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Probably best if... Or I could go in reason. myself as a spider, but I, I don't know if... That's probably not a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I forgot to do something. Does anyone have thief tools? No I, I mean... I think I'm pretty good at them. Oh, yeah, then you, then you can yeah, take back at it. Yeah, I think it's the old stuff. Yeah. I can shape my tools into any type of tool. So, did I say that funny? Oh. You can shape your tools into any shape, any type of tool. Yeah, that's impressive. Thank you. Just uh, trying to get my brain out of the gutter. That's all. Let's see. <laughs> that's okay. It gives me time to do something I forgot to prepare. Give me just a second. <laughs> Feel free to BS for a little bit longer. And uh, can never help me though. But um, I'll I don't have proficiency in these tools. I don't think I can help you with you it. Help? Okay. Yeah. I just have a good dexterity. It's basically okay. all I've got. 
weapons can give you guidance. Yeah, that's okay. Awesome. Sure. Yeah. So I'll take guidance and then. I have enhanced ability, but I don't know if I want to burn a spell slot on this just yet. What? It's that would be a deck cat's damage. grace or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if I want to burn it just for that. Yeah. I don't. I don't I know if I want to be taking a long rest from here. Yeah. So. It's adding proficiency. So Ethan, I'm gonna make a sleight of hand check then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just check my bonus. And also, mm, I meant bardic inspiration. Sorry. Oh, inspiration. Uh, I oh, I've got, one. I've got guidance. Okay, so guidance. I'll give you guidance. Oh man, this is a lot of bonuses. All right. Does your bardic inspiration dice a d6 spell? Or H. How D8. does Tuppence give bardic inspiration? Oh. Are you saying? Oh yeah. Can she not give it? She can't play music. Oh, no. Creature within 60 feet that can hear me, just hear me. Because I was like, yeah, you thing. could give a spoken inspiration. Yeah, right? You just like, yeah. pat him on the I'll back. allow it. Yeah, like, you have this, I know you can get, get this apart. Drop my dice. That seems to be how Phoenix does it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. shoot. Well, yeah, that's not going to go that way. It's not a one. <laughs> I got a 22. 22? Wait, you got a 22? Mm-hmm. He rolled a 3 on no, his wait, d20. No, wait, That's 3... Oh, plus 6. Hang on. That's... I have a little bit less. That's... Oh. 9 plus 10. 19. 19. Okay. Yeah. Still, he rolled a 3 on his d20. Just a second. I'm almost done with the thing that I forgot <laughs> to set up earlier. <laughs> uh... Like 22? And you rolled a 3? Yeah, I have a really big bonus. Like, wow. I was about to say, like, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel when it's not that good? Yep. Okay. Um, you put the tools into the lock. All you right. start to fiddle around, and I think you've almost got it. And you kind of push a little bit further, getting one of the mechanism, then the next, and then you make a slight mistake, and the whole thing <laughs> resets and forces your tools out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was with a three, so. <laughs> uh, well, maybe we'll need the key after all. Might as well start looking. Shall I, shall I send my spider oh, in yes, there? Yes, yes. To get some information, or do you think it's not worth it? Um, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, out of character, do you need to burn a resource to do this? Yes. Uh, oh, wild shape resource. No, it's up to you. So I don't know if I'm going to need to wild shape, and I haven't used any yet today. Uh, let's see. Let me do it now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have used one. When did I use one? When did I use one? Did you... I forget to mark the long rest? I don't think you did. Not, not, not last time. Yeah, was... Did you use one in the... You did. You oh. turned into a dog or something to uh, to find. The... But that was during the downtime. Yeah, I think you must have forgot to come up a little bit. I can't remember if I did one last session. I, I thought I thought you did to like try and get a good stealth or survival. I think I think you turned into some creature that had a good survival check. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That did happen. I remember yeah. an hour passed really quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your wild shape ended. Yeah. yeah that's, that's right. right. I did. Was use it the wild so... shape or the that's not true. That also that also ended. Oh, I didn't mean you did both. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I consumed a lot of resources last week. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I've only got one more left, but I that gets him back on a short rest. Okay. But I don't know if I'm gonna need it again. So we could just look around. Yeah, let's look around a little I, bit. I first. think if all else fails, I don't know if sending a companion in there will do anything. Other than just get a look at it, I wouldn't be able to talk to her if I find her. Right, right. If I go in myself, I can talk to her, but... I wouldn't want you in there with that backup. Right, I don't yeah. want to go in there by myself. And I'm probably not the one that needs to talk to her anymore. I say looking at her. Well, where to first, then? Let's see. The door said... We need to burn away her loneliness. We need to find light to guide her home. She can do not but sob, but no tears can quench her anger. I'm not sure about that. But 
Maybe we can find the answers to that somewhere in here. Do I know if Nim ever met my mother? The Fairy um, Wild is a big place. I don't so think you would know. I wouldn't know that. Okay. I will say, Tuppence, now that now that you're starting to figure out that these three sayings are affecting you, there is something you know about what's probably going on here. Um, it happens more often with uh, Archfey, um, but when an Archfey, you know, presides over its domain, uh, there are often a set of three, it's always three, rules that they can set up for their domain that can affect different things in different ways. Um, you think that Nimlilium, with her powerful sorrow and grief, has effectively created a miniature domain, and those are her three rules that everyone in her domain must obey. Okay. There's... I... So these aren't keys to getting her out, they're just rules we have to follow while we're here? The way she likes it? Not right necessarily now. she likes it. Well, the way she prefers it right now, I agree. I have one possible idea that may be bad. What's that? Um, just as a test, I would like the rest of you to go around the corner where I can't see you anymore. Are you sure? Yes. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll? Uh, I don't think that you can fail. I think we established. <laughs> yeah, we established <laughs> yeah. that you can never win. Yeah. Are you sure? Um, you can tell this idea is very scary to Embers, um, but she's trying to press through with it, despite that. Okay. Um, just right around the corner here, then. Sure. We'll just be right around the corner. You go around that corner, and oh, no. there is a, at the very far end, sort of a, a broken and ruined writing desk and there are bookshelves lining the wall, and all of the books look tattered, and if you pull one down, kind of off the shelf, its pages seem rotten. Mm -hmm. um, and oddly enough, as you kind of leaf through some of these, like, rotting pages, they kind of have a s salty smell to them. Like tears? Uh -huh. Um, I think Emerson just walks up to the balcony of where the thing was standing before, mm -hmm. and just like, kind of just s stands there, mm -hmm. waiting until she can't hear or see her companions anymore. I mean, that a feeling of isolation mm -hmm. and loneliness, it hasn't gone away, but as you yeah. stand there closing your eyes, mm -hmm. it intensifies for sure. Mm -hmm. um. I guess I'm trying to see if I can draw that thing out. How long do you stand there with your eyes closed? A good... 24 hours. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, I will say Embers can probably stand to do this for long, no longer than like three minutes. Okay. Do you open your eyes repeatedly, like, on occasion to like peek and check, or...? No. I, I'm gonna go the full three minutes. Okay. Um, when you open your eyes three minutes later, mm -hmm. it is standing across the stairwell, looking at you. Okay. And as you make eye contact with it, mm -hmm. its arm begins to reach again. Okay. I'm going to attack. Okay. Uh uh, let's have an initiative roll then. Okay. And we can do this from everyone. I picked this music specifically for this game. I really love this music. It's, really good. it's so good. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm on fire today. Oh. Don't worry. Sweet to get. Oh no, you're something first. Three. Okay, uh, how did Embers do? Um, unfortunately for Devin, it's only a 21. 21. And Owen? Oh, what did I roll? Uh, 12. 
And Tuppence? I roll a natural 20, so it's a 23. <laughs> nice! <laughs> and oh, Give me a bonus turn or something? I roll a natural 1, so it's a 2. Nice! <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it rolled poorly, so Tuppence, you're up first. Um, I will say, let's start this initiative round from Embers, because Embers... Nobody else knows anything yeah. is happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are all around the mm-hmm. corner, unable to see her, and until you hear the sounds of Embers doing something. Okay. So, Embers, I guess uh, you're up first. Yeah, three um, radiant bolts. At this time. Well, one is not going to do anything, but I think the other two are 15 on die. Which works out to like 23 or something. Both of those will hit. Okay. Yeah. Die. Uh, that is 16 radiant damage. Um, your radiant bolts mm-hmm. collide with this thing and it reels back in pain, but like silent pain. It doesn't release any screams or anything like that. Mm-hmm. They singe it. They hurt it. Mm-hmm. Not as much as you'd expect. Mm-hmm. Um... Now, when you hear the sound of embers, you know, three minutes after you go around the corner, you hear the sound of embers, familiar, you know, grunts and, mm-hmm. and sounds of her martial arts. She's attacked something, and uh, you're up. Unless, embers, do you have anything else? Um, I was going to see if I can jump over that gap, but I think to do that, I would have had to use a key point for Step of the Wind, and I've already used a bonus action. Okay. Then, yeah, Elwyn. Okay, um, I'll come out, peek around the corner, see what's going on. You see what's going on. Yeah. You attacked it. Mm-hmm. Uh, no way. Mm, I could do it, I think. Let's jump a distance. Uh, there's a nice little handy thing for it on the character sheet. Okay. Um, I always forget. Isn't it just your strength? Strength score. And then Maybe. something. Yeah. Okay. For standing. And then like running jump is different. I think you get like We look it up all the time. I yeah. Remember. Long jump. Here it is. Uh number of feet equal to your strength score if you move at least ten uh feet on foot immediately before the jump. Okay, I have no problem doing that. And I don't need a bonus action to do that. I just have to spend the key point for the step of the wind to double my uh, jump distance because my jump distance is only 11 feet. Mm. Um, but my general movement is 45 feet. So I could back up 10 feet and then go forward 30 just fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do that and land next to the thing. Okay. Uh, so that's what you see then, Alvin, as you come around the corner. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, my song ended and didn't keep playing. <laughs> Got to click loop. Oh, it's back! I say, and I see Ember is trying to fight it. Of course, she ain't right, so it's like never use ice knife. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I'll just try to use frostbite on it, I guess. So, con save? Con save. I rolled a natural 20. Of course you did. My rolls are better this week! Oh, <laughs> well, that's fine. It was gonna save against something and let it be the shitty uh, cantrip. So is it no damage from no the cantrip? No damage, then? it's just a cantrip. Let him waste his match on, on the cantrip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I basically am like, it's back! It's back! And that was... 10 feet of movement, so I think I'll move this way. One, two, three, to give that room to come out of the corner. Alright, I'm done. Okay. Um, as you get right up next to it, <laughs> that feeling of isolation goes away. Oh. And it almost seems to smile as you're right up next to it. 
and it will make... Well, let's see. Yes, it will make an attack against you at advantage. So it has company. Um, 23 hits? Does. You take 16 piercing damage as it pierces you with this uh, pointy harpoon arm that it seems to have, and then it pulls you into an embrace, and both of its arms fold around you. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're grappled, by the way. Yeah, I figured. Uh, it's a seven. Okay. Um, you take another... Let's see... Wow, low damage. Okay. Uh, 10 psychic damage. Oof. Uh, and it pulls you tight into its embrace, and then it begins to drag you away. Oh, no. Uh-oh. How's your HP? Uh, I'm at half. About a little over half. That's a speed of 30, so yeah, it moves at half speed with you. Oh, boy. And it just begins to pull you out of sight. Of Help! Problems. Help! Uh, Vert. Wait, I go for Tuppen? Yeah, oh, Tuppen's a Tuppen Tower, but we started with Embers, so. I see. Okay, well, this is, um... Yeah, nope. Works for me! <laughs> I tried to turn down the music, I think maybe I turned it down too much. It's just a quiet start. Let's switch to a different song. Hmm. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I can do here without jumping over the uh, castle. I can't really do that if I can't fly. Um, it's not easily. Can I... Is it made of metal? Nope. So its arms and stuff are just like bone or something? Or, or some other hard material. They're not, yeah. they're not metal? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just... Hmm. It's organic. <laughs> um, Heat organic Yeah, I'll do <laughs> my full movement. As close as I can get, and then throw a fireball. I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, another one. Okay. No, oh no. Is. Roll three and one and a one. This dice is. I think like... you need to warm it up a little. That's the problem. Um, as you throw that firebolt, though, it reacts to that heat. Like the firebolt goes wide, but it seems to turn in that. Direction. Um, what components does Healing Word have? Um, Healing Word is... It's just it is verbal. verbal. You go to sing out the notes of Healing Word. The spell doesn't work. Wow. She loses the spell slider. No, no, no. I'm not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to make you lose the bonus action either. But... I have to sing it. Mm-hmm. Healing word okay well how does tuppence normally cast it is it not a song usually does she speak it well it's a new spell actually mm. but it's fine That's well how fine. would how would you say that tuppence cast this spell yeah tuppence would be i think she would 
You're right. She would either she would either sing it or play it. Okay. Okay. And yeah, unfortunately, it's no effect. All right. Call out to embers. My voice. You can't hear me sing, can you? I'm not gonna be able to heal you. So let's see. This one's verbal too. No, I want to hurt it. Call out. Call out to the creature. Say, we don't really want to hurt you. We're trying to talk to your friend or master. We need your help, actually. It turns its head in your direction. As if it heard you. But it doesn't seem to react beyond that. It is just clutching on to embers. Okay, that's all I can do. I'll try to think of something else. Okay. Uh, Ember's your backup. Okay. Um, Ember's is... <laughs> calls out as best she can with, like, in things embrace. Um, and, and, like, reveals her plan, I guess. It's like, this thing is loneliness. We need to burn it. The fire will work. Um, Ember's attacks twice. Mm-hmm. It's not a disadvantage right or anything. Uh, you're just grappled, you're not yeah, restricted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does an 18 hit? Um, yes, it does. Okay. Um, so that's two hits. So fire will work. Fire will work. Oh, will work. Um, for 17 uh, magical bludgeoning. Okay. And then as a bonus action, Embers manages to get her fingers in a position and cast burning hands. Nice. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> um, well, as the from pummeling it, you can feel like this, like punching it is not doing what mm -hmm. you'd hope. Like it, it mm -hmm. despite the fact that your fists are magic, yeah. um, it is resisting that damage. But you cast burning hands. What kind of save is that? Uh, let's see. That's a deck save. It fails it. I didn't roll, but it fails it. Oh wow. Okay. So this is going to be. I can, I can pump this up, I think. I can't do this twice, so I may as well pump up my one use of it. Searing Arc Strike can spend additional points to increase the key spell's level. So I'll cast it at second level. Uh, yeah, so 46. Fire damage. Ooh, pretty decent. Um, 14 fire damage. So it doubled to 28. No, sorry, 15. Nope, oh, doubled to 30. Ooh. Nice. Uh, it's big pieces of it burn away, but it's not like like a, a horrible burning flesh smell or anything like that. It's like as soon as the fire touches it, mm -hmm. just like big pieces of it drift off into smoke and then vanish. Okay. And it gets this look of relief in its eyes. Yeah, and I think for the end of Ever's turn, it said, that's all I got. Does anyone have any fire? Try again. <laughs> okay. Ellen. Uh, I kind of have the opposite of fire today. I'm not sure about this. Um, let's see. I have a tinderbox and a torch. Do you want to light the torch and throw it? Can I do that as my action? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know how that would. I would have torch. you make a just like a, a, deck, a d20 roll plus dexterity to try and hit it with it. And I'll give you advantage. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Be like, uh, we're doing it the old-fashioned way. And I pull out a torch from my bag, light it. <laughs> I don't have any muscles. <laughs> Should have let Tuppets do this. <laughs> um, all right. 
Uh, I'll at least put you as close as you can get to this railing. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. How long yeah. Thank you. Stay like I mean, this. yeah, I would run pretty much up to the railing. I could actually run up onto the wall if I wanted to, because I think Spider Climb is still active. Okay. All right. That's pretty decent. That was. That was a thirteen. Um, plus Dex. Mm-hmm. Fifteenth. Um, you throw the torch, and it. You're you're not like, you're not used to throwing things. I don't have any muscles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it goes, and um, it looks like it's about to, you know, clatter down into the first floor. But this thing, like, lunges towards it. Uh, unfortunately, it still misses by a hair's breadth. You just barely missed its AC. But it's there on the floor, okay. so you can grab it and attack with it if you wanted to, I guess. Um, that's all I got! But um, maybe I can help with this. And I cast Healing Word on Ambrose. It works. Um... Because I'm not singing it. I send it's verbal, but I imagine that be like, Embers, pick yourself up and dust yourself off. And as I speak, there's like the flurry of snowflakes that kind of mm -hmm. rushes towards you. So it's, it's cold invigoration. Oh no, don't put out the Nah. <laughs> Torch. Nah. Um, and I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do first level man. I don't wanna burn my Mart, my I'm not that hurt yet. You're not that. So, because I've read a temp HP, so. 1d4 plus 4. I think that temp HP is long gone. Is it? Temp when was the temp HP for? Right? From when the mantle? Yeah. During, during the battle, I thought it keep. I think it might must stay. stay. It might stay. Uh, oh, I rolled max, though. So you get 8 hit points back. Ooh. What is that about? Uh, hmm? Mantle of Majesty? It's Mantle of Inspiration. Oh, Inspiration. Oh yeah, we did still have Temp. Does yeah, that's what, I, that? that's what I was trying to figure out. Because if, if we do still have Temp, then I have more HP than this. Yeah. Mantle it says how long? Inspiration. Um... It doesn't say anything about how long they stick around, so I'd say, yeah, you've still got them. Okay, well then that's 10 more HP I've got. Great. Oh, so Amber's actually doing pretty good. For the moment. Great. Still a grapple. Yeah, gave you a little bit more HP. Yeah. Um, for taking that hit, and there's a torch lying on the ground next to you. Mm -hmm. I assume it made it across the gap. It did. How much we'll say it did. Back to How much HP together. did you get? Eight? Eight. Yeah. Uh, I moved up, what, 20 feet to get up there? Yeah. I think I might back up 10, just so I'm not... Okay. There we go. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, um, next up is its turn. Maybe <laughs> more. <laughs> Um, it points its second arm towards Elwyn and launches out, like the, the arm launches across the gap mm -hmm. towards you at incredible speed. Does a 16 hit you? That's my AC. Just. So it kind of spears into your shoulder a little bit. Could lit. And there's like, there's almost like a, a supernatural adhesion there, and it pulls you towards it. Oh, shoot. Um, let's see how far can it pull you as you are grappled by it. Uh, um, if you are basically dangling over the stairway. Oh my gosh. And it is pulling you towards it as if it wants to embrace you too. Okay. Um, and it will then embrace uh, embers again. Hold on, I need to actually do damage. Yeah, I was gonna say, did it hurt me? <laughs> what does that do? That's fine. Uh, 20 piercing damage. Whoa. Yep. And you are grappled by it. And then embers... Uh, 17 psychic damage. Whoa. Much better for the second. No save for that? 
Oh, it is a save. It's a wisdom saving okay. throw. Thank you. Keeping me honest. Um, I'm gonna make con check first. Oh, Fire I Okay. Yeah, it hugs you tight, and there's just that okay. feeling of loneliness and isolation, and it's just reaching a fever pitch. I lose spider climb, but that's fine. That's fine. And then it will pull both of you around the corner with it. Oh, it's still pulling Owen? Owen can probably only be pulled to there, so it kind of pulls you so I'm you still <laughs> slam against the wall a little bit. So but... there's no physical string? Connecting us, it's a supernatural thing, right? Well, so I'm like dangling. There is, by but it's, this, it's like... not like it's fully pierced you. That's why it's kind of like a supernatural adhesion, but right. it is pulling you with like its elongated arm. Okay. I was yeah. just wondering about the visual if I'm dangling off of the edge. You are. What a am I bit. holding yep. up to? Onto its arm, which is Great. extended, kind of like in the picture, which I will show again. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's its turn. Vert, you're up. So it's around the corner, huh? Yep. Cool. There's a door next to you that you know leads into the bathroom. Right over here. Mm-hmm. Helpful. You need to go and, uh... And you know that there's an exit door to the bathroom here. Yeah, I'm a little worried about entering a new room. You can always just peek in and be like, nope, close the door. It's good roleplay for the isolation. Vacant or occupied. Um, well, let me look and see if I have any other options before doing that. Oops. Oh yeah, did you, did you change the magic item or not? Uh, No, because I think it's working as intended. That's what you want? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think the temporary hit points is supposed to stay at that level, and then it gets other effects based on your armor. And the thing that goes up armor. with the attunement, up attunement slots. The thing that goes up with the attunement slots is how many people you can affect. I see. Okay. Well one, two, three, four, five, six. So is it it says within 30 feet, but not necessarily I have to see them, right? Mm -hmm. Can I target Owen and Embers with it? If they're both within 30. I think so. Or I can get... Uh, yeah, it looks closer. like they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys can get 5 temp HP back. And because I'm using Guardian Armor, you also get uh, 3 AC and Ooh. plus 3 to your attack rolls. Nice. So what does this look like it's, since this is the first use of this ability? Yeah, so I think uh, Bert makes eye contact with Nyadon and sends him like a mental signal and then Nyadon uses the power of the wind nexus and it basically there's this like vortex of wind that surrounds both of you, kind of making things a little bit harder to, like a shield sort of, but also helping guide your strikes. Mm -hmm. um, That's cool. So, yeah, that's my bonus action, and then for my action, I guess we're going to enter door number two and check the bathroom. Door number two? Yeah. Um, that's a, a funny choice of number for that. Right. Well, it's the second door, so yeah. <laughs> and door number two. You peek into the room, and it looks vacant. Okay. Um, however, things are in a state of disarray. As you can see, like the, the sink is broken, there are towels on the floor, the tub and even that partition are kind of like... The partition is like slashed as if with claws. Um, and more interesting, the ground in here is covered with a couple inches of water, and some of it kind of spills out as you open the door. I see. Yes. Yeah, okay. Is the water coming from like where the sink was, or like? It just, doesn't seem to be a source of clear. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not like filling up the room. It's just there. It is kind of like a salt water smell to it as you open the door. Yeah, shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, I will. That was what, fifteen, twenty feet to get there. So okay. then I will go. Man, I guess I'll just dash and get to the other doorway. And this door is closed, but you can open it if you want to. Um, yeah, sure, I'll open it. Ooh, it's open. 
Okay. I'll yell to Tuppence. Be like, I'm on the other side, Tuppence. You can come this way too if you want. It's your turn, Tuppence. Okay, um... So... I'm going to cast Invisibility on myself. Okay. Oh. What are it's the components? Uh, but what are the components? Uh, an eyelash encased in gum and rabbit. That'd be the purple. material component. It's purple too. No. Oh no. Wow, so I can't do anything without seeing huh? Unless unless something only has somatic components. Somatic or material. Yeah. yeah. I don't everything everything I have. I'm gonna check. Ah! One yeah, of the rules I know. Might but... Forbid material. Just saying. Oh. One of the other rules. What? Usually you use a focus to get around having to use material. It's like instead of having uh, yeah, a I yeah, 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 yeah. I missed what he said. No, so for her, that's her instrument. Oh, yeah, okay. Rules so it would have to be just that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I see. Sorry, I got super distracted, so okay. I can't be. <laughs> my blitz. Okay, well, just... um, I'll head to... Uh, so can't do Misty step across the gap. So I'll go back. I'll go toward the door. Okay. Might as well dash. <laughs> get as far as I can. You can basically get up next to her if you want. Okay. Whoop. I have a very strong sense of, like, I feel like something very similar happened to Harmony in Campaign 1. She wasn't able to use any verbal components, and then, like, everything she had was verbal. Mm -hmm. Verbal's a bad one to lose. I think it was, um, you got, like, magically manacled at one point. Something like that. Anyways, Embers? Okay, um, Embers is going to take advantage of her dragon hide belt. Mm -hmm. To use an action to regain key points. Nice. So I can't do it this turn, but hopefully next turn I can uh, do some more burning hands. Three. So that's I what can... you need though for it, isn't it? Uh, I need two. Oh, so okay. with three, I can do it once and upcast it. <laughs> so that's right. Yeah. I was hoping it was four, but I could do it twice. But if three is what I get, then three is what I get. Anything else for members? Nope, everything else... Uh, I don't, that was an action and all my other bonus actions. All my good bonus actions require me to like attack first. So, gotcha. that's the end of my turn. Elvin, you're kind of dangling off the edge yeah. by this thing's heart um, arm. How does this thing look? Um, look really bad? Large chunks of it have burned away, uh, but it still seems solid and substantial enough pretty to healthy. keep fighting. Okay, and it's hit us pretty hard. Um, I'm going to kind of try to pull myself up, at least, so I can see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I will cast Slow on it. Ooh. Mm. Kind of save stuff. It's a Wisdom save. Not one of this thing's strong suits. Roll the 12, plus zero. Uh, yeah, the DC was 17. Yeah! It's so load. load. Um, so... Its speed is halved. Mm -hmm. It has a minus two penalty to its AC and deck saves. Okay. Can't use reactions. Or deck saves, yeah. Um, it can only... It can either use an action or a bonus action, but not both on its turn. Gotcha. Can't make more than one melee or ranged attack during its turn, regardless of its abilities. All right. Well, its turn comes around, and it can only use. Hold on, that was. <laughs> Unless you had more for your turn. <laughs> that was only my action. Um, I'm grappled, which means my speed is zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Never mind. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> um, it has two people grappled, so it can't do anymore, but it reels Elwyn in. Uh -huh. It can't do its harpoon arm attack anymore, but it uh, brings the two of you in, uh -huh. and it hugs you all together. Can it? Is it one attack? Because uh, it's slowed. Yes, it is one action. So it gets one action. action. Mm -hmm. Which it's using for Sorrowful Embrace, which means I need a wisdom save from both of you. But, like, is that technically a multi-attack? Uh, the reeling in is also part of Sorrowful Embrace, so it is mm. one thing. Dang. 
Try. Try. It, it's multi-attack it plus Sorrowful Embrace is... Sorry, the, the Harpoon Arm plus Sorrowful Embrace is a multi-attack, but it only is using the Sorrowful Embrace this time. I see. So Wisdom save, right? Yes. Both Wisdom save. That's okay. 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 Are you rolling at disadvantage, or did it just roll? It, it rolled, like, to nothing. It, it, rolled, it rolled to, like, a point. Oh. So, I, like, it was cocked. It was cocked. Yeah. It was cocked. What am I gonna... Oh, All Right. Well, I'm doing better, but not good. I rolled 11. Okay. Still still a fail. Yeah. That was an 8... No, 17. That's a pass. Um, so, Embers takes 18 psychic damage. Oh, boy. And Elwyn takes 9. Oh. Still have to make it. As Eight. this crushing isolation just Spells presses it cast. on. Okay, sorry, I took how much? Nine? Mm-hmm. Put by temp HP. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, come on, save. I might adjust I'm that fine. after all, actually, Zach. What? I might adjust the temporary HP thing after all. We'll see. I think it needs okay. a little bit of help, but yeah. it's okay. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, saved my con save, so he's still slowed. Uh, okay, and then I think its speed is halved, you said? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So it keeps pulling you, but it can't go very far because it would be 15 feet, halved down to 7 feet, so yeah. 5 feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it just keeps pulling you with it. Uh, Vert. Yeah, well, the only fire things I have is heat metal and fire bolt, and it's not metal, so... Firebolt. Firebolt it is, I guess. MVP. Yeah. With my warmed up dice. I'll move you up to where you can right. cast this. Oh, thank you. Um, I will give you advantage on this one if you okay. want. Okay. I will take the advantage. I, oh, well. <laughs> uh, 18. That's a hit. What was the first one? 10. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, Two ten. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, good damage. That's seventeen. So that's thirty-four. Yeah. Nice. Oh, whoa. Uh, another huge chunk of this thing yeah. puffs away into smoke. And again, now Elwyn, now that you're up close to it, you can see there's that face of relief as it burns away, like the mind player sounds when they cast spells. It probably can't take much more. That's not what I would call relief, <laughs> per se. <laughs> Anything else from Bert? Um, let's see. Yeah, I might give them temp HP again, actually. Let me see how much it is. How many whatever slot or uses I have. Mm-hmm. I can look it up too. It's six, I think. So, sure. I'll give you guys five tip HP again. And then so you have the attack bonus and AC bonus again as well. Okay. Uh, then it is Tuppence again. So, can I see um, Owen's uh, torch? Uh, yes, if you come out of the bathroom, it's uh, basically it's fallen sort of right here on the landing. Okay, I'll pick it up. Okay. So picking up is an action. You can do that one for free. Okay, and I'll attack the creature with it. Okay. Uh, roll a d20 at advantage, and then add your dexterity modifier. I'm glad that worked in my hand. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. No, I rolled a one and a three. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> The torch clatters over here. Uh, <laughs> you right probably, you probably did you just go no, and swing it. No, oh. I want to hold on to it because that's the only thing I can do. Oh, you wanted to just attack yeah. with it? Yeah. Um, well, well, that would be strength, but still it would be one in the three. Yeah. <laughs> You're waving this torch at it and you just can't get it past Elwyn and Embers because it has them in this embrace. Okay. That's really funny. That's oh, that would be your I mean, this one just rolled a natural 20 and it rolled. <sighs> A one on the next roll, the very next roll. Oh, numbers then. Right about average. Okay. Mm. Um, Now that I've got some key points back, I'm going to spend them all again. 
and cast Running Hands at second level. Okay. Uh, actually, I've got to attack twice is first. That, is Running Hands a, a cone or is it? It's a cone, one? but no, but nobody's in danger of being hit. Yep. At the moment. Thanks to the weird way that cones work. Okay. I'm gonna make sure. Um, I assume a. Wait, well, I have plus three to attack rolls, right? Yep. Uh, does sixteen hit? It does. All right, then these both hit, and I don't know if you've got minus what was it? Minus matters, two, minus three. Yeah. I'm slow. So that's uh, fourteen magical bludgeoning, and then I'm gonna. It's got. Does it have disadvantage or just minus three to the dex save? It fails the dex save. Oh yeah. He just fails automatically, but it is minus he two. He chooses. Well, I want to be clear. He's choosing to fail oh, the dex save. Yeah. Yep. I I was wondering if it was because I was being grappled and can't miss with burning hands. Yeah, nope. that's why it's choosing to fail. Can fix that. Yeah. Uh, mouse rolls. Eleven fire damage. So twenty-two. It only has enough substance to hold on to you at this point, just barely. Mm -hmm. Like, most of its body has faded away, and it is just these arms holding on to you. And you can feel a little bit of hope in the isolation and loneliness. Yeah. The torch, let's finish it! Um, Try it! Well, Ellen's up first. Yeah. Ellen's got no fire, though. I've got no fire, but I do have Druid Craft, which lets me light torches and mm. candles. Apparently, are there? Enter in the Feywild. That's true. Um, is there anything, anything in this hallway resembling a candle or something? Well, by my comment, Enter in the Feywild, I meant your magic, especially Druid craft, has been pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. Um, I'm just gonna reach and place my hand on its cheek because it's grappling me and I'm mm -hmm. right here um shaking hand because I'm hurt <laughs> and not thinking about the blood that's dribbling down my hand my arm and I'm just gonna say you don't have to be alone anymore we're here and I'm gonna try to craft the flames in my hand that's touching roll a d4 okay <laughs> one 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 <laughs> Uh, you do two damage. Great! <laughs> two fire damage. Great! And the flame kind of rises up the last bits of its cheek, and its eye closes as it puffs to smoke, and the arms that are holding you puff to smoke as well. Great! The creature is gone. They don't have Was that all it had left? <laughs> Technically, I had three hit points, but I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Look, I literally yeah. didn't roll anything but a one. Yeah. I'm giving it to you anyways. Because I rolled two that. ones on my uh, burning hands yeah. as well. Oh my god. Wow. That's kind of a cool way for a ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and I get a plus one for the cool thing I said as I did it. <laughs> yes. Plus that's one of my say. damage. We'll that's just say that. Say. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to be alone anymore. Tuppence, as this thing fades away. You feel as if a weight is lifted from you, and the rule of the lonely is removed. So your you, your music, play your pain flute. I feel so much better. Can you play your your instrument la, la, again? La, 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 la. Well, we didn't we didn't <laughs> fix the singing one, but it didn't sound very good, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> but the pan flute works. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh. Are you alright? Is everyone alright? I feel a lot better now that that thing is gone. Me too. Do I actually, do I? Is that like <laughs> sense about... The feeling yeah. of isolation yeah. and loneliness is okay, completely great. gone. You have your yes. friends here. Yes. Yes. Much better. How are your injuries? Well, there's... Me too. If, if someone can get this patched up and I don't have to look at it. Um... You don't have to heal me, just bandage me or something so I don't have to yeah press the digitation you're or really hurt aren't you embers come here mm -hmm. I why don't we I actually could stand to rest if we can find a safe place to do that you want to go back in the bathroom in the bathroom it's a little Isn't wet it all in wet in there yeah <laughs> well 
Well, let's um perch on top of this. There were some rooms downstairs. We okay. might encounter more things down there, but Yeah, to refresh your memory or, of where are our bedrooms? This keep. Um there's a door right here just behind you. Mm hmm that is closed. It's like a big stone door here, whereas it's like a double wooden door back home. Uh, and that should lead into a kind of like an in-between chamber between the, the like, two bedrooms. main bedroom and the guest bedroom. Uh, we could check to see if the bedrooms are bedrooms here. And sure. We can lock ourselves in one of those rooms for an hour. Yeah. I'll... Well, how, what's our tracker at? How long have we been here? Um, between your fight outside and the time you spent exploring here, I just marked an hour. So, how much is Seven. Level seven? Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, we have... We have an hour spare. I could use an hour, too, to get back as okay. well slaughter, too. Okay, so, while we're resting, then I'll play the song of rest and you get an extra yeah. hit point at D6 to add to your... That's great. ...without using well, heavy Well, let's not do that yet, because we have to find a place to rest first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, when we... Tuckins is just like, I want to play! <laughs> <laughs> you could! I can play again! I'm going uh, to quietly open the door. Okay. Do you want to make a stealth check? Guidance. Sure. I cast guidance on you and I back the book up. It's just a normal roll. Oh, there we go. Nine, two, two, plus four. So twenty-one. Twenty-one. You open the door without a single noise being made. It just slides open silently, despite its heavy stone construction. Okay. Looking into the room. It looks mostly as you remember. There's kind of a sitting room with a pair of couches and a table in the middle. Sitting on those couches, there are um, some kind of ratty looking dolls of like, they look like they might be stuffed animals, but there's like stuffing pulled out of them um, of uh, what looks to be fairy dragons. They're just kind of sitting on the couches there. And then at the far end of the room, where there's a standing mirror back home, uh, the mirror is shattered. Great. Yep. Uh, and you can see that there are closed doors into both of the bedrooms. Okay. Well, let's check one of them, see. Or we're just be in that room. Guidance again. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll check uh, my bedroom. Are you opening the door to look, or are you listening from the outside? What's your plan? Um... I was just going to open the door. I can listen from the outside first. Okay. My perception's decent. Guidance on myself. Oh, that's really good. Uh, 20... There? 26? Matt? Okay. Wait. 25. 25. From the door on the left hand side, which I believe is. Bert and Ellen took the door on the, on the right hand side, right? Did we take the right or the I left? I took the left one, my bad. I thought we took the left one. Well. Here's what I found. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Siri. Thanks, Siri. Um, for your bedroom. For the door on the left hand side, Bert and Ellen's bedroom, back on your home plane, um, everything seems silent. From the other door, though, with your roll so high, uh, you can hear the sounds of probably multiple creatures moving around in there. Oh. Um, not even trying to be quiet, it seems. There's something in that room over there. Then let's go to the other one. This one's quiet. Okay. okay. I will try and quietly open the door again. It doesn't mean it's empty. Let's keep stay on our guard. I got pretty much the same roll as last time. Okay. It silently swings open, and on the inside you can see a bedroom. Oh, nice. Um, I think something... Let me check something here. As you open the door, um, interestingly, the fireplace uh, down here in the bottom corner uh, 
it's lit and there's kind of like a warm glow coming from it. As you enter the room, whoever enters first, mm-hmm. you see a brief flash of vision. Uh, kind of sitting on the ground against the bed, mm-hmm. there's an elven nobleman you recognize to have kind of the appearance of Alir Mistrela, oh, um, who you've seen in portraits. And he is smiling and laughing, and this tiny creature, this little dragon with these butterfly wings, um, it has kind of like a, a frill on its head that almost has like the appearance of musical notes, and its butterfly wings um, almost look as if like the, you know, the, the vein parts of the butterfly wings form like a treble clef and a bass clef. Oh, cool. Um, this purple scaled dragon is darting around the floor and kind of hopping and flying a little bit and it nips playfully at Alir, Mr. Lath. Um, and with each little nip at him, you can see that, uh, Elwyn, this is going to gross you out, the blood kind of pours from the wounds, disproportionate to how much that little nip should have hurt. It was clearly like a playful nip, but blood pours from it. Um, and he begins to fall back with this sort of pained expression on his face as he's clearly dying. And the dragon lands on his chest and just lets out this keening wail before the whole scene puffs to smoke and is gone. Wow. Do we all see that or just the first part that you're saying? It looks like you were kind of right behind Bert, so I'll say that you two saw it. Great. Uh, I'm glad we're taking a risk because I am going to need to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Is it safe? Seems safe. Yeah, I'll walk further into the room just to kind of make sure. Everything seems safe in here. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'll come in behind. I'll just go sit on the bed. (laughs) Little meditation. Door open or closed? Oh, definitely closing that door, right? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to walking so much. <laughs> How do you all stand it? Well, first you have to stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll stay near the door, um, even though it's closed, just in case something tries to get in. Okay. But yeah. And do you want to spend an hour kind of resting here? Is that what we need to spend? Yep. Short sure rest. Okay. <laughs> It's like, please, God, no. <laughs> 30 minutes. Ah. <laughs> All right, so now Tuppy gets to play her song. Yes, song of rest. And you all get an extra um, 1d6 hit points. Okay. I lost the internet when I tap it for some reason, even though everyone else has internet right now. It's <laughs> fine. It's coming back. I, like, clicked the short rest button. It was like... Goodbye. We lost it. We rolled a one on our authentication check. <laughs> hey, thanks, D&D Beyond. Thanks. There we go. Okay. 1d8 plus 1. I have one hit die marked used already. Did we take a short rest? No. No. So, you shouldn't. Yeah, you should. That's weird. Maybe I just haven't marked a long rest in a really long time. <laughs> Like actually more fun. Okay, so I can Oh great. That was not fun. Oh okay, I'll take that. And we get how many more? Uh an extra D six. Is she rolling it for all of us or do we all roll it individually? You just get an extra one. Okay. And then you don't have to mark that one on your sheet. That reads to me. You know, I rolled one to two on it, but I'll take oh. it. You don't get to add your bonus to that, right? Okay, so it's. You get to add your condoms. To the d6. Oh, not to that one. That's what I was asking. Okay. That's what you do in a short rest, too. Where is it on here? It doesn't say how many I get per. Oh, uh, let me pull up your character sheet. 
It's longer fast? Yeah. But that's you can do that any short rest. That's not a resource you're spending. Okay, so I can do it any any time we have it. It's yeah. just a benefit from my pixie. Yep. yep. Or oh. bard. Right. Bard, yeah. Okay. I am one hit point away from being full. Cool. If I had rolled anything but a one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my first D eight. <laughs> well you already got your spare one for this. Yeah. I know, no, it's fine. It's fine. I no think I can live me. with being one hit point away from that. Oh, I also wanted to use um my it's not arcane recovery what is it natural recovery i get up to a level three spell slot back let's see i think i'm going to use it to get back a second and a first level good to go rest i get all my key points back and i'm not close to full but i'm way better than i was mm-hmm. oh. Yeah, I you definitely took the worst uh, yeah. encounter yeah, with the lonely. Yeah, you did. Which makes sense. Yeah. All right. I have to go personally with it. All right. Shall we go see what's in that other room? I'm ready if all of you are. Yep. How how are we all doing now that we've had a minute? Much better. Are you okay, Tubby? I'm okay. Wait, I'm what's, what was the rules again? Well, if we just cleared the rule about the song, Mm -hmm. player song. The other two are about flight, which requires a light to guide them home. Okay. The third one was about singing, and the clue was tears to quench anger. Okay. And I, I know the bathroom was full of water, right? So maybe there's something there. I smelled a lot of salt when we were looking at the books before, too. Oh, that's a good, a good lead. So we're looking for something lost uh, and something crying. Or something that, that needs to be quenched with water. Or yeah, something angry, I guess. Angry or burned? Yeah. But we did hear some creatures in the room here, so I don't know if that's where we should check first, more solid lead, or... As good as anything. You want to go check that yeah. out, though? We're here. Okay. All right. Sorry, let me open your door again. Whoop, there you go. Um, when you go back out into that sort of connecting room between the two bedrooms, uh, the door to the other bedroom is open. Oh, no. Mm. Oh. Uh, can I still hear the shuffling in there? Uh, roll a perception check. Okay. That is a 17. No, 18. That room is now silent, but oh. um, kind of back the direction you came uh, across that sort of uh, gap between the stairway and the other half of the, the floor. Um, you can hear sounds coming from that direction now. But it almost sounds like people arguing. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. Should we try to be sneaky about it? Go quietly or yep. <clears throat> listen? Or should we just bust through the door? Uh you can be quiet and listen first. Okay. Next to that. Yeah, I'll, maybe I'll crack the door open if it's closed. Okay, it's uh, it's open. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna kind of peek through there. Uh, roll a stealth check. Mm-hmm. Whoever wants to peek through there. Oh, sure. Guidance. Okay. Uh, I rolled a one. Guidance. Um, Doesn't matter. So <laughs> <laughs> what do you do that alerts oh, no. these creatures? Oh no. Um. Maybe Vert expects more resistance from a stone door, and it just like it just like. Mm-hmm. And so there's kind of a loud. Open, so he just. Like, ah! And he just like fumbles forward. Um, <laughs> the arguing voices go I silent as. Uh, oh my gosh! Yes. They turn towards you, and then you can hear the loud clanking of metal boots. Oh, not these things. As uh, two creatures you've seen before, these almost like gnomish oh. or dwarfish looking uh old 
like short old men with these big red caps. Um, you recognize red caps. Mm -hmm. uh, they were doing something over by the door to Nim's room, having their argument there, and at the, that sound, they come running over to the kind of banister separating the two of you, and they look across the way and they're like, Hey! Hey! Who's over there? Uh, Our talker. Not these things again. <laughs> Can we sweet talk them? Didn't we play games with them? Well, I want to talk to you first. Didn't we play games with them? You don't answer us! We're coming over there! God. You want to walk out and, uh... Okay. Um, you kind of walk out onto uh, the landing, and so the two of you are kind of facing, or the three of you are kind of facing each other across this gap, and they see you. Uh, roll an insight check. Let's roll that one. Oh, Guess not. Just throw it over the top of the door. <laughs> you were struggling tonight. And every night. Oh, 19. There's confusion in their eyes when they see you. Like a visible confusion. Oh. Hi. Uh, what's up, guys? Is there an issue? What's, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? We're doing what you ordered. We're here to kill the dragon. Just like you said. Oh, shit. I never ordered anybody to kill anybody. What are you talking about? They look at each other and they, like, kind of shrug. Oh, shit. Um, and then they turn back to you and they say, No, no. Uh, you told our boss, you know, of the Marabo gang, go to this keep, find the dragon, and kill her. That's what we're here to do. We just can't find her. Do you know where she is? No, we came here to find her too, but for a totally different purpose. I'm telling you right now, I never would tell you to kill the dragon. They kind of look at each other again and they start like tapping their iron boots in kind of frustration. I don't know, our boss was pretty sure. That she, she, she said that we needed to come here and kill the dragon and that it was your orders. Can you make a persuasion check? Mm -hmm. Guidance? Can I go? Uh, yeah, you can, can guidance I turn if you want. Head. Can you go? Yeah. That's a deep mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened to your tower? <laughs> no, my oh, Jenny! I rolled a four. So, uh, persuasion, 17 plus uh, nine. So plus four. Plus four? Third. No. Yeah, no, four. I added the four already. Oh, okay. So 26. Yeah, they, they look really confused, and they look across at you, and they're like, All right, I don't know where things got crossed, but, I mean, Zoom Shroom is dead downstairs. You're telling me we came here for nothing? I think Empress just here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you did. So if that's all you're here for, you can just go. They, yeah, they look at each other, and then they look back at you, and they kind of throw their hands up in exasperation, and they just go, Fine! I guess we're done here! And they, like, clomp uh, into the bathroom. You hear the splashing of water. They come around the corner, and they just clomp down these, like, dark metal stairs, or dark uh, marble stairs in their metal boots, and you can hear the sound of them uh, exit the keep. I wonder if they, Good job. they thought I was that other mirror self, Who? or if that other mirror self was pretending to be you and yeah. giving orders in your play. They didn't look at me too close, which was a lucky thing. Yeah, uh, I mean, great job, though. It yeah. sounds like well, the Maribo leader, who I thought was our ally, may, not, may have been compromised. Sounds like it. I thought we hated the very We we do, but we had an understanding. Yeah, yeah. after we after we okay. challenged it. I mean, it. We we did there. chase them out of town, but the terms are fair. Yeah. Okay. And it was they were a bit nifty. nifty, didn't go double or nothing. Yeah. They yeah, they were <laughs> upset. They didn't have a chance to yeah. Yeah. But the terms were fair and they left. 
I, I felt like there was some, at least some mutual respect there. Mm. But something's like going on. They didn't get in to his her room either, so. Mm. Oh, lucky thing for us. Yeah. Was that who I had heard in the room? Like the stomping of their boots and stuff? Like, Probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, if you go peek into that room, it's in shambles. It looks like they tore it apart. Like looking for stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't we go check out that bathroom? Maybe. Okay. See if we can find a source of the leak. Or something. You go into the bathroom. Do you want to roll an investigation check? I will help somebody. Who has a better roll than I do? You have the best one. I do not I have, have a good one. Plus two. I have plus three. I have plus, plus three. So you. Uh, okay. Well, I'll do guidance and then one of you can help me. Mm. That is a... 25. 25. Um, you search around in the bathroom for a source of this water. It's strange. It doesn't seem to be leaking from the sink. It doesn't seem to be leaking from the tub or anything it's it's weird it's sourceless um but with a roll that high you do feel like it drips down out of this room like you can start to hear like dripping sounds coming mm -hmm. from the first floor Coming from the first floor? Yeah, as if like the water is dripping down oh, from like here through too. the. Now it's just coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like it, you can't find a source in here, which is weird because if there was one, you'd have found it. Uh -huh. So we have to go downstairs. We didn't check those rooms downstairs before we came up. We did not. No. Yeah, let's head downstairs. You might as well. Okay. And uh, let me pull you back over to the first floor map. Oh no, none of your hit points carried over. I guess I should copy you. No, over. I hadn't I hadn't updated since the rest anyway. Uh that's fine. I'm checking them on my character page, so I got it. Yeah. Cool. There we go. <laughs> um yeah. The four of you find yourself standing at kind of the base of the stairs. Yeah, so I guess we'll check that left door, which should be where the water's dripping to. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three mm -hmm. so that's right. Yeah, it's good. You open the door and peer inside. Let me see if there's anything interesting about this chamber. Uh, Vert, are you the first one to enter? Sure. You see the same fairy dragon curled on the couch before a warm fire. That same elvish nobleman is poring over papers at the desk by lamplight and it's just a moment of peace and uh, the fairy dragon almost seems to purr a little bit in its sleep as you enter both the man and the fairy dragon turn to you as if seeing you and the man begins to burn away uh, turning to char before crumbling into ash oh, and floating God. away. The dragon turns towards this and tears pour from its eyes um, before she turns to look at you and then she herself turns and dissipates into smoke. The tears from her eyes linger though and they flow out the room and around the corner to the left. Hmm. I follow it. Okay, yeah, follow it. Maybe Tuffin should open these doors. <laughs> Why? I don't know, so she can get more familiar with him before we have to encounter her. As you round that corner, you see a long straight hallway. There's a painting in the middle of it. That painting looks to be slashed with claws. Any sign of where the little the water droplet, uh, if you're following it right behind, it basically just seems to be running the length of the corridor. And um, 
headed that direction. Uh, yeah? Shall we just keep going? Yeah. Yeah? We just follow, follow down the hallway. Follow the source. Okay. Follow the water droplet. <laughs> Glistening in the dim light, the tear uh, kind of splits at the end of the hallway. One part of it flows into the stairwell, and the other part races along the uh, connecting hallway to the right. Which you're going to have to sort of move down I'm that trying. way and see. It is, uh, all, I think all this uh, cool dynamic lighting is really liking Bolt 20. That's okay, I can I can move you okay, if you want, you. if that's easier. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, you did go computer. single file down that hallway in order to not mess with the Oh yeah, lighting. you may have just seen some stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna forget Spoilers. it. Spoilers. Ah. Yeah, put us in single file maybe. I will fix this. <laughs> Spoilers! We saw nothing. Look away, look away! Um, okay. Um, yeah, one of the one of the tiers drops down into that stairwell in mm-hmm. front of you, and the other one kind of races along the hall- hallway towards the right, uh, towards what you assume is the other stairwell on the other side. And as you peer down into the stairwell, the entire basement is flooded with this salty water. Hmm. Flooded to, like, we have to, like, swim in it? Or, like, you know... <laughs> like the the stairwell, in fact, is flooded with water, like all the way up to here. Oh, okay. Do we still have all the water breathing potions? Uh, did we ever have water breathing potions? Or was that a different game? <laughs> that was the that's a different game. Alexandria one, I think. Yes. Um. So oh, I do have a spell that lets me cast water breathing, but did I prepare it today? Hmm. I did not. Yep, I also didn't do the flip of the mantle ray as one of the infusions. I could turn into an animal that can breathe oh. underwater or hold my breath and go check it out. But again, that would be separating me from the bass. Yeah, and if it's like the last one, I don't think we want all of us dealing with it. But I could try to lure it back this direction. It's worth a shot. Lure what? Whatever's down there. If there's something else that needs to be Is there a way we can get rid of the water? Like a gust or something? Use the wind spell? It works on gases. I don't know what it works on liquids. Can I try to part the water with shape water? What are the limitations of shape water? I feel like it's possible, but... Um, it's like five foot cube. Basically, so we'd have to all... I don't know if we could all huddle together. You can't all huddle in a five foot cube. <laughs> no. But you could shape the water around uh, yourself as you went down there if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, at least you wouldn't um, be burning a thing. Let's see. You can move or otherwise change the flow of water up to five feet in any direction. I can cause it to form into simple shapes. Go, I, can go with I can change its color or opacity <laughs> or I can freeze out of it. <laughs> But it's like only like five foot cubes of it. Yeah, so I would say that means you can probably shape it around yourself. Shape you like it, an archway. I put archway mm-hmm. or something that I can walk through. All the Katara from Last Airbender. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, but if you see anything dangerous, come back. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll try it. Mm. I do have superior dark vision, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see it there at least. All right, all right. I will um, I'll cast guidance on myself first, just in case. Does that last a minute? Like inspiration. You, do, 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 do. you take your own notes. Because I don't have a good note. Do you want me to reread them? No. I'm just no, he's just here. cheating off of mine. Bless. <laughs> Bless. I'm allergic to cheaters. Cheers! <laughs> okay, so extra the eight. Okay, um, I will drag you just Elwyn down to the basement. It's not the full thing. It's important. I can keep up. Sure. This uh, entire floor is filled with water, and you're just managing to, with you know, concentration and careful effort, 
bend it around yourself to create this bubble of air as you descend the stairs uh, and sort of find yourself in a very long, dimly lit corridor of water. Uh, all of it is like droplets fall on you from above as you're shaping it. All of it has that salty taste to it. But it is coming from above. Mm -hmm. Can I tell, based on where I am, what rooms are above me, at least in our key back home? Um, in the stairwell itself, those stairs go up to the third floor, right? straight up. Um, and then basically just above this would be a, that long hallway, and then the kitchens. I see. Um, can I do like a perception check or something to see if I can see any creatures down here? Yeah, roll a perception check. Oosh! Well, that was really good. I have guidance too. Um, so that is 23. No creatures in sight, but sort of in the middle of the hallway, um, right here where I'm going to ping, mm -hmm. um, you do see something. You see? On the ground, uh, in the water over there, you see what looks like a big metal key. Ooh! Alright, I will cautiously approach it. Okay. You cautiously approach, and as you reach down to pick up the key, something happens. Of course. Um... Let me see what happens. You feel a sharp pain on your back as you've bent down to pick up this key and something slashes across your back. Uh, you take 11 slashing damage. Okay. Um, and as you turn to see what has slashed you, you take an additional four psychic damage um, as a hand or cluster of hands with these sharp uh, claw-like talons is emerging from the wall to slash at you, uh -huh. which I will reveal. Did I get the key, though? You do get the key. Okay. Got a phantom situation here. <laughs> Ooh. Is that from Mario 2? The little mask? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Whoa. I'm not looking at that. All hands on deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I do think that's where we'll end today's episode. Oh my gosh. Because we don't okay. have time to get into what happens hand. next. Uh, so we will pick up there, not next week, but the week after. You have plenty of time to think about these hands. Uh, <laughs> And we'll see what happens next then. So thank you for watching. Thanks to all of you for playing, as always. Uh, hope to see you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.